<laughs> Have you ever heard of this show where there were nonstop crew dives every week and where the, pres where the presenters were actually sexy? Oh, what do we think about that? 60 seconds, it's a live show. Uh, did the band need to be in the, did the band need to be in the... Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay, guys, let's get this thing going. Come on. Oh my God, I'm forgetting my lines. Oh, it's not there. Hit it. <laughs> Have you ever wondered a show where there were nonstop crew bands each week? Where the presenters were actually sexy. Three six five five is the place to be. I remember that. Where the presenters were actually sexy. Three six five best. Yeah. Three six five best, best is best. the place to be. Alright, 30 seconds left. Let's get started. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is any different, like, okay. <laughs> Three six five best. <laughs> Time to mess up our lines. I'm joking. Don't mess up your lines. Have you ever wanted a show where there were non-stop cool bands each week and the presenters were actually sexy? 365 Fest is the place to be. Mama, haven't you heard? We sold that all over the world. Look, I'm as high as the sun. Shut your mouth, boy, when will you learn? Welcome to 365 Fest, the show where festival goers can pitch up, sit back and count down the days to the festival season. I'm Kamal. And I'm Katie. Now, to kick off today's show, we have the Umbrella Parade with their original song, Plastic Side of Life. in my eyes Cause you live and breathe For faces on computer screens Oh, 
it doesn't get any better than male musicians on our 365 stage. I mean, our camper fan, courtesy of Butter Cookbook, is cool, but she could probably beat the guys on the stage. But really, Kamal, it just doesn't get any better than this for me. Unless... Unless I had an interview with Michael Even. <gasps> the Glastonbury Bounder. Yeah, we can get an American, bring him up and down the country, playing catchy music by MGMT, and find out what really happens in the downtime of the festivities. at Stonehenge. How did these stones get here? Apparently aliens. Who knows? But I'm ready to go off to Glastonbury. With me today is Britain's noisiest neighbor, Michael Evis. Thanks for joining us today. You haven't got the hippie dress on. Have you? Oh, you know, maybe for warmer. <laughs> this is my winter <laughs> festival look. <laughs> What do you do to keep yourself busy during this season? Uh, middle of winter, really, yeah. We're sort of back to the farm, the cows and stuff, you know. And um, uh, the Christmas shopping for the grandchildren. We do the whole chapel church thing on Sunday mornings and things. So, so yeah, we're quite busy. We do a lot of charity work in the winter with the money that we made from, from the festival, you know. Was it always a vision of yours to have a festival on the farm? I had the land, I got the ideas, and, and keen on music and like people. I'm quite gregarious character. And I get on with people, you know. It's a bit of a treat, really, for me, to be honest with you. That's wonderful. Mm. So has music always been a passion? It has, actually, yeah. From early to Elvis Presley, The Who, you know, all the, the Beatles. So when I was a kid, you know, all those things were, were a part of my life, really. So to transfer that into my farm and to expand into all the other things as well that we're doing, you know, theatre, circus, and I think God, some really daring, crazy things that we do here. And it's slightly hedonistic. Everyone really goes crazy and, and, uh, and really enjoys themselves. But at the end of it all, it has a sense of purpose to, to it. We actually donate two million a year for charity work that we do. With Greenpeace, Oxfam, and Water Aid, and social housing, and that sort of thing. So, like you said, it's a family farm, and I know your daughter helps out with the festival. Yeah, she does, yeah. Are you going to keep it in the family? Oh, yeah. As it goes on? Oh, yeah. So, so we're back in um, 2.13. Uh, um, so, if you come back then, you enjoy it. I, I would. have got some good headliners definitely. that year, too. Yeah. 850,000 people are registered with a photograph and everything, because we have photos on tickets, so they can't sell them on, and there's no touting, there's no fraud going on, you know. That's a hell of a show, yeah, it really is. You have to come and have a look. I will. Do you have any special plans for Christmas? Uh, Christmas? Oh, yeah. Um, the what I do, I take all the grandchildren and all the children on a bus to London. We're going to see a show, actually, together. So I've got two spare seats. Do you want to come? Yes. <laughs> I'd love to. Thank you so much for meeting with us today. I'm Molly Pankratz, and I'll see you at Glasgow 2013. I can't believe that they didn't find out who's playing Glasgow 2013. What a disappointment. But with us now, we have the band The Goo. Hey, guys. To the show. Thanks for joining us. What do you think of our camper van? Courtesy of Buttercup Bus, of course. We want one. You want one. Right, Are you guys going to be playing at Glastonbury pretty soon? Yes, hopefully. Hey. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed, right? Now, earlier, the guys from the band set Katie and I a task to go out and buy some food so we could give a festi festival guide on how to make a sandwich. But of course, we're not going to make this easy because it's not Blue Peter. We are at a festival and we have to experience exactly what it's like for the everyday festival goer. Right, so we each have 30 seconds to prepare a sandwich. Now, you don't have much time when you're actually at a festival. You need to be at the stage watching the bands not eating. Now, we also don't know what ingredients we've brought for each other. That's why I think you should go first, Kamal. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're all going to count down from yeah, 30, but, like, but oh my God. I have got, you're going to be getting everything ready in your sunglasses in a right. tent, so it's going to be okay. dark. So I can't see, dark. what the hell? Okay. This is the point. Are you guys so going to count? <laughs> we're going to count. Are we ready to count? I can't really see. From 30. Right. Off you go. Okay, go. 30. 29. There is some absolutely disgusting things in there. 26. Oh. Brown sauce. Yeah. Bit grim. Yeah, yummy. No chips. Cooking. Oh, kind of halfway there. Kind of halfway there. Um, 
You're not meant to eat it, Gmol. You're not meant to eat it. It's good. I don't know if you guys want to eat this. Oh, yummy. Five seconds. Five seconds. And a biscuit on top. He's nearly done. There we go. That was good. I'm not sure whether I'd actually uh, okay, hold on. want to eat anything. Well, you still got to go next, right? So yeah. it's my turn. You yeah. ready for this challenge? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, all right. Let's see. What have we got? Reveal it. I was a bit kind of, I actually brought decent uh, ingredients. Uh, now, hold yeah. on, hold on. Just in, oh. case, just in case you trip and you fall, um, yeah. you know, through the cables, like, as you do when you're at a festival, yeah. you got you to gotta just, you know, restrict yourself. It's very possible with all the snags and everything that, you know, <laughs> you might need to cook with like one hand. <laughs> all right. Hard. We good to go? Yeah, we're good. 30 seconds, ready? Ready. Go. 30. <laughs> Nine, 29, 28, 27. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Uh, so <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to cook mine. <laughs> I think you need some. Well, well. Should I flip it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey! there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your expert opinion, guys, which is the what, best? what's better? The one that's in one piece is the sweet potato. Yeah, the, with the <laughs> one on the top. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Right, you know, we have to eat. We have to eat it. Uh, the I loser has to eat. <laughs> I'm going, absolutely. I'll have the Bowman biscuit on the top. Is that all right? Because <laughs> I just have that. You know what? I'm going to put that down there and cook it for later. Maybe okay, after the show. Okay, here's what not to do at a festival, folks. <laughs> what not to do. Or maybe I can have your banana. That would be quite good. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about that, guys, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, not listen, guys, good. thank you so, so much. That was a lot of fun. What have we got next? <sighs> we need to <laughs> untie <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> I think it's going to be quite impossible, actually. Oh. We're nearly there. So you have there. to spend the rest of your face. I should be the next Heston <laughs> from gourmet cooking to tent testing with the lovely Molly, who will be showing us why we shouldn't trust her with the tent. We will be testing tents. As many people spend many pre-festival hours pondering on which tent is best for them, me and my unwilling volunteer Danny are going to try to find this out. So let's get started. Now, first up, should we get you into the tent? Could you not at least give me a less effeminate tent? I think the color is going to be the least of your worries once the rainstorm starts. Well, rain is in from that hose. Yeah, something like that. Better get started. Climb up high as the sun. Shut your mouth, boy. When will you learn? Mama, haven't you heard? We sold out for. Well, welcome back, Danny. So, how did your tent hold up against the standard British weather? Well, I don't know what the standard weather is where you come from. But this was not standard weather. I mean, come on. The thing was filling up with water. The thing is falling apart. And I would have been better off wearing a colander in my head. Next time I go to a festival, I'm just going to steal someone else's tent. I just am not dealing with this ever again. Well, don't give up yet, because we have plenty of surprises for you tomorrow when we're testing some more tents. It's getting dark today, but we'll see you all tomorrow. It's a new day for tent testing. Here we are in an urban part of London testing the security of a tent while, say, you're at a festival. The tent that we have today isn't that secure. It's very open, doesn't have any zippers or anything to keep it secure. In fact, it looks like it could blow away at any second. In remember our volunteer from yesterday, Danny? Well, inside we have some of his valuables, like an iPhone, headphones. I think I even see a coat in there. Are these McCoy's prints? Well, I'm taking these ones. He's not here to see. But I'm going to go meet him at a gig. Let's see if this stuff is here when I get back. See you guys. Well, Miss, those are my crisps.
Here we are in Northwood Park for our third and final tent testing. So far we've tested weather, security, and now we're going to test stability. Hey Danny, how's it going? Not great. Why not? Well, as you saw, the last tent I had got stolen with all my stuff in it and all my money, so I didn't have a tent fund anymore to buy a different tent. Why are you holding the sticks up like that? Because when I let go, this happens. Well, during this tent testing, I think we've learned a few things. Spend a little more on a tent for the best festival experience. <laughs> Would you agree, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks to my volunteer, Danny. This has been Molly. Back to the studio. Thanks, Molly. I know. I now know who not to take to a festival, but at least I know what kind of tent I'm going to buy. Now, I'm going to shoot off because Katie is going to find out how you can look good at a festival. I'm here with the gaga of Glastonbury herself, Laura Trowbridge, to show you exactly she's got four gorgeous models to show us a, lo a little bit about the festival fashion. Welcome, Laura. Hi. How are you? Should Good, we get thank started? you. Yeah, can we have model number one? Woo! Very nice and colourful, I like it. Yeah. This is a typical fashion, um, festival fashion look, accessorising to the max, mm -hmm. colourful, and obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, just wear a band t-shirt of someone you don't know or no one else knows, because something oh. like that is always really good. Cool, nice layers as well, yeah. keep warm, yeah? Brilliant, yeah, definitely, cool. yeah. And number two? Ah. Cheap and chic, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Always looks good, waterproof, disposable and cheap. The hood is a great accessory, if you don't mind pulling the hood up. Something like that. And obviously for girls, if you want, just bring a belt to clinch in your waist. But yeah. something like that is just cheap and it's for everyone, definitely. And obviously glasses, don't forget the glasses. Thank nice. you. Nice. And number three, here we go. Oh. Where the wild things are, eat your heart out. This one is my absolute favourite. Animal print is always in season and something like this will keep you warm. And obviously if you want to take it off and, um, you know, reveal the underwear or something like that, then yeah, you can match it. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. Definitely good for matching. Very Thanks, nice, Catherine. thank you. I like the hood on that as well, yeah. that's cute. And finally. Yeah, why should guys have oh. to get a really bad tan line? They shouldn't really, if you come back round please. Nice buns. Yeah, can I definitely. Just say, can, I, can I have this one? You can. <laughs> why should guys have to have a bad tan line? Jersey Shore and Essex do it this way. So this is the way to wear a guy's look in season. That's amazing, Brilliant, and he smells yeah. good too. Very yes. nice. Well, thanks so much, Dot Laura. I'll definitely be taking you on some festival tips for my next one. So, what do you think of this lot? This amazing. Love the belt. Love I it. am Colours ready. Colours are great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the festival is over for the week, uh, but we've been ordered to get out, as you heard. But come back next week where we'll show you how to pimp your tent with a packet of condoms and some glow sticks. Ooh, yes. So to play us out, we have the fabulous girls who are performing one of their songs. See Cheers you guys. guys. to beat you they'll eat you up they'll let you down they'll make you this and they'll let you fall down they'll rip you apart until it all falls down whoa oh she's wearing the devil in her eyes tonight and whoa oh she'll break you up in order to be where she takes
Tonight, oh, oh, she'll break you. 